In this video we will demonstrate uh, integration between Cameo Systems Modeler and Open Modelica. And we will demonstrate with one of the uh, files, sample files uh, of Modelica. We will call this uh, function. We could call also a model in the very similar way. And then we will pass parameters to the function. Modelica will start uh, automatically, will execute it uh, in headless mode and will uh, close. And then we will uh, get the results of this uh, function. So here we can do this uh, execution in a couple of uh, ways. We can uh, call Modelica function from the parametric diagram, as you can see here. Also, you can do this from activity diagram or some other place. Uh, in any case, it is the uh, same approach, just uh, maybe different way how to pass the parameters. So here we see this parametric diagram, so pretty much we have a constraint block. Constraint block uh, uh, has the expression, so let's go to that expression, where is the main part of this constraint block. Selecting containment tree here, an expression, and then a specification. So specification should include the call of a modelica function, or uh, pretty much we can um, call any kind of operation of Modelica, open Modelica, and uh, because it is already integrated, so we can uh, call anything and we'll get a, a response. But um, in our case, we call this uh, uh, function and uh, uh, first line you see that we need to load it. This load is done uh, by specifying uh, uh, absolute path here uh, of this Modelica file. I could put it inside of the, leave it inside of Modelica, then I would use relative path, but now I'm uh, uh, put it on my uh, desktop. So this path should be modified if you are running the same sample on your uh, machine. And then second is the call. Second line is the call of this function. So X is input and A is result, so it's square. So X would be like 3 and A will be 9. Okay, and then there's a very important thing that we need to specify the language here as a Modelica, right? And then uh, I can use this constraint block inside of parametric diagram and I can get, uh, when I will provide input, I will get response as the output. So we see that X is input and A is output, right? So now I will run this model, this parametric diagram, and be between this is that uh, Modelica uh, file, function file. So we see that it's x, y import, and x is uh, input, and y is output. I could close actually here, open Modelica, doesn't matter really, and I will call, uh, run this parametric diagram. So I ran it. And then I can change the inputs and the uh, parametric diagram works in that case the way that if I change some input, I get the result automatically. Uh, recalculated, right? Uh, I could also create uh, the instance table here. So let's do this. Let's run again. I will run again and then we'll uh, save as instance. Here. And then... Uh, will create instance table in order to provide different configurations and get results. So let's try this to do this. This instance table here, this is the classifier, this is the scope as the instance. Okay. And now let's see this instance here. And if I will change input, I should get recalculated result. Yes. Yes, so it works. Now let's create many instances and uh, change input. So it will be 5, 7, 9, 11 and recalculate everything. So I get result and I can sort it. There you go. Now uh, so this was uh, one case when we ran from parametric diagram, right? So we can input a lot of data and get results, right? From this Modelica file, we see that Modelica is not uh, really open. It's in headless mode executed. Another 
another case is when we execute from activity diagram. So this activity diagram it works actually even uh, more powerful than the parametric diagram. It has the time uh, concept. Uh, parametric diagram doesn't have the time concept, so everything what we change uh, we get recalculated immediately. All parametric uh, equations are recalculated, but with uh, the activity diagram we can uh, decide which one we do first and which one second. So here we have activity diagram and this activity diagram is, is inside of this block. So in block we have two properties, value properties is A and B. A has initial value and then uh, we pass this A uh, and assign, we actually read this A. We are using uh, opaque uh, opaque actions here. This, this and this is opaque actions. Uh, and those opaque actions, they have work as a, a constraint block. Same way, we have this body and language uh, uh, property, which has the ability to change the language, right? Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, we read uh, by name uh, A, because it is, uh, this activity is inside of this uh, block, we can read uh, by name, we read A and assign to X, we pass X by name uh, with the pin, read X again, uh, this could be like, for example, different variable, doesn't matter really, this is runtime variable, it's no, no way they, they are defined. We pass it, we read it here, we again load this uh, uh, function, the modelica function, we uh, then execute it, assign the y, y again is the runtime variable, we pass it here and then assign to b. It could be simplified to single opaque uh, action, but uh, we just wanted to show that actually we can uh, manipulate uh, with the time concept that this is done first, second, third, right? And then we stop and I will, I will put the some uh, simulation at breakpoint in order that we would see the progress of this uh, actual results. So here I have input, right? And I will slow down a little bit. Now run activity diagram. And I get result, right? Here, here we have result, right? So if I will stop it, run again, and change this one to 5, for example. Oh, it was not enough time, stop it. Execute this with the change to 5, and run again. It should be a different result now. Okay, so it was 25. So that's another way how to execute uh, the uh, modelica function and uh, this could also load model right it's uh, just like uh, here you can try uh, by selecting modelica you can try the different uh, uh, commands of modelica it uh, will work in the same way as you would uh, use modelica to run those commands and can load models, get the results from those models. Uh, now the integration by itself is done uh, uh, from here. You need to have installed uh, Open Modelica on your PC, then uh, go to Tools uh, or Mac, go to Tools, Integrations, and here you need to browse to the integration, uh, to the installation of your Modelica, and then restart Cameo. So you need to go have read write writes in that directory where is your Modelica installed. And once you select this uh, location of Open Modelica, you uh, confirm that location here, and that's it. Next time you start Cameo Systems Modeler, you can now choose the Modelica as a language in uh, uh, specification of the opaque action or opaque behavior or constraint block expression and uh, that will uh, execute the, uh, uh, will use the modelica as a later for that specific code. So that's the integration with modelica which is uh, same for the MATLAB and same for Mathematica and uh, for uh, Maple.